Hello, my name is Yavin. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at uh, PT Tiger Science uh, 2019 trial paper for uh, Terengganu State. This paper was for PT Tiger last year. So we'll have a look because we are still in this entire movement control order thing and I believe you all have been skipping school, tuition and that kind of thing. So we'll try you know, to look at a couple of questions uh, to see if we can uh, understand how the past year PT Tiger questions have been. Uh, probably you will have uh, to uh, you will come across questions that you have never seen before uh, because you still have uh, a long way to go for your from three syllabus. But we will see. What sort of questions can we uh, solve right now that we know that we have on hand from one from two? Because uh, PT Tiger will comprising of three years. So if we can go in there confident with uh, uh, two years and more of information, then we are uh, more or less set or will be more confident to sit for the paper. So let's uh, go straight into the first question, okay? Okay, number one, it's talking, it's talking about a human nervous system, okay? So we know that uh, there is a central nervous system and then uh, the question is asking you which part of the uh, labeled uh, parts of the diagram shows the central nervous system, okay? So when we're talking about central nervous system, from the word central, we can very obviously know that it is talking about everything that is only in the middle. So anything that is uh, bercabang keluar, which is uh, branching outwards, like if I zoom in, you can see the cranial nerve and the spinal nerve are all branching outwards because they will be the ones that are going to the hands. They will be one that, that is going to the face, uh, the, the neck and uh, whatever other positions of the body. So what happens is when he's asking for central nervous system, from the name central, we know that it is always asking for the things in the middle only. So we will go for the things in the middle. Lah, okay, From the top, Going down, the first one we can approach is the brain. Okay, so J, definitely the answer. Okay, J, definitely the answer. After that, K, cranial nerve. We know that I told you, cranial, talking about the you know, parts of the head that it branches out, yang bercabang keluar. So, K cannot be the answer. So, anything with K, okay, since it's an objective question, we can already rule out the one with the K. The one with the K is gone. Okay, so here we have B and D. Okay. So actually, obviously now we know that because only B has J, so more more uh, it's more probable than not that the B is the answer. But let's check. Okay, spinal cord. Spinal cord is the one that is down here, the one here. Okay, okay. Spinal cord uh, is the one your backbone lah, basically in the back in your backbone. So this one definitely is in the middle. Okay, spinal nerve. Like I said, if you see the one here yang bercabang keluar, that is not going to be the central nervous system. Okay, so it cannot be. So answer must be B. Okay, so answer is a B. Okay, good. Now, second, okay, this is uh, from two, from two chapters, talking about uh, these um, animals, and we know that there are five classes of animals. Okay, so students in my class will know that we are learning by formula. Okay, we will know uh, uh, what is missing there. Okay, because we only have five, and we will remember the five. So we know that out of the five, what we have is we have the fish, the reptile, the amphibian, and the mammal. So the one missing is the bird, lah. Okay, very simple, the bird. So this one we know that. Uh, Whale, okay, mammal, horse, mammal, okay, let's go out to sea. C will be, uh, is, I believe, is iguana, okay, so it's a reptile. Then D is a bird, okay, B is, uh, D is a bird, okay, because it's a penguin, it's a flightless bird, it cannot fly, okay, but it's still a bird, why? Because of the characteristic, characteristic of what? Warm blooded, lay eggs, has feathers, has two feet, okay, these are the characteristics of bird. So, tak kisah, terbang atau tidak, Ada uh, asalkan dia ada, you know, ada sayap burung, all that kind of thing, we will call it a bird. Okay, so for this T, okay, we know that T, T here is the bird, so we will go for answer D. Okay, we'll go for answer D. Okay, now let's go for question number three. Question number three, D. Okay. Okay, question number D. Oh, sorry. Question number D talking about uh, these um, food classes. Eh, food classes, and we know that the name for this diagram here, we call it the food pyramid because it tells us the amount of food that we need to eat. Okay, from the top to the bottom, the top we must eat the least, paling kurang. And from the bottom, because of the size, you can see it's getting bigger and bigger, so this one we must eat the most. Okay, paling banyak. So what happens is, uh, if we look at the fish, we know that the fish is a class of protein. Okay. Meats, majority of meats are proteins. So we know that the majority of this fish, the component of this fish, or what makes up the fish, will be the protein. So we know that it's protein. Okay. So now we have to decide where it is going to be at. Okay. We know that D is talking about the carbohydrates. 
D is talking about the carbohydrates because D is going to be the uh, uh, the bread, the rice, the noodles, the pasta, the macaroni, okay, and that kind of thing. C will be your vegetables, your fruits, okay, the ones that have a lot of vitamin, mineral, fiber, okay, that goes up to B. B here is going to be all the meats, okay, all the fishes, okay, meats lah, huh? basically all the eggs, okay, it will be here, B, okay, because you need to eat meat less than the vegetable, uh, understand not? Okay? And you must eat the carbohydrates, which is the rice and all that, more than the vegetable and more than the meat, that's why it's going downwards like that. Okay, and we know A. If you want to know A, A will be the oils. Okay, oils or fats. Okay, uh, butter, margarine. Okay, what else? Uh, sugar. Okay, cakes and that kind of Okay, so answer automatic B. We know. Okay, so the idea or the logic of this question is you must first identify that fish is the protein. Then identify each level. Okay, what there is. Don't just hunt them. Some people they think that oh, fish is a good thing. Straight away they hunt them. See. But they never think of the fruits, the vegetables, what will happen? Because they don't identify layer by layer. So if we do it from the bottom, carbohydrates, then we move up to the, the fruits, the vegetables, we will not get it wrong. Okay, answer B. Now, number four, the statement below show various situations in everyday life. Siva who dives in a deep sea, Ahmed is resting after jogging, Maimun who is diagnosed with anemia, Rahman who had arrived at the peak of the Mount Everest. So what is the question? Let's see. The question is asking you, which condition causes increased of respiratory rate? Number one, respiratory maksudnya apa? Respiratory maksudnya breathing, means you breathe. Because we will have a rate. Rate means what? Rate means number, number of breathing per minute. Number of breathing per minute. Okay, beberapa kali kita bernafas dalam satu minit. That is called respiratory rate. So, we need to know that this rate, because it's a rate, kada, it can go up or go down. Okay, it can go up or go down. The more intense, okay, the more intense, that means we are working hard, okay, exercising or going to the gym, intense, respiratory rate will increase. If we are in, a, we call it the sedentary or uh, 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 very, uh, uh, okay, I'll just use the word sedentary, okay? Sedentary or, but maksudnya, uh, not intense lah, basically not intense lah. We will have a lower respiratory rate. Lower respiratory rate. So now, let us see which one will cause the increase. Increase, yeah? Okay, we must see the increase. Okay. Number one, Siva who dives in the deep sea. Yes, diving. Diving. That means they are going to be diving, no? They have to swim and move themselves around in the water. It's already hard to move around when you're on land. Some of you are now in the water. Okay? Sometimes the deep sea has escaped from the shark, you know, escaped from the big fish, the octopus, all that. So, yes, it's going to increase, definitely. Most definitely going to increase. Okay? Most definitely going to increase. Some of because of the water pressure makes your breathing harder. Okay? Now, number two. I mean, uh, is uh, resting after jogging. Resting. Resting means what? Berehat lah. Berehat after jogging. What happens when you rest? Of course, your uh, cardiac benafas or your breathing rate will go down. So, definitely no. Mamu is diagnosed with anemia. Anemia actually means that the blood is unable to transport as much what oxygen. As much oxygen as a normal person. Anemia. It is a problem with the darah blood. A problem with the blood that uh, doesn't allow efficient, efficient transport. Okay? Efficient transport means... Uh, that it cannot bring the oxygen very efficiently to the body cells. So what happens is, of course, it will make the breathing harder because you have to breathe more. You have to breathe more. Okay? So yes. Number three, of course. Now, four and... No, so I believe there is no five here. Huh? I believe there is no five here. Only got four. Rama who arrived at the peak of the Mount Everest. Okay, I believe the... Let's see the question now because the, 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 the sentence is not very sharp. Okay, uh, okay, they are asking for two selections. They are asking for two selections. So, okay, so if they are asking for two answers, let us first rule out number two first. Let us kill out number A. Let us kill out number C. We are ended up with the three, four, one, four. Okay, three, four, and one, four. And we know that, okay, we know that number one, 
Siva who dives in the deep sea, definitely it is going to increase. No doubt. No doubt. Okay? So I believe this three may not be the answer they are looking for in this question. Okay? Either the question is designed wrongly or it is not designed perfectly. Because this three, supposedly, anemia, maksudnya, the uh, blood cells does not have enough iron. It's a, a deficiency of the iron. So, uh, without the iron, it is unable to construct the red blood cell to transport or to bind with the oxygen perfectly. So, by theory, yes, of course, it will increase your rate of breathing. Because think about it, if your blood cells cannot transport your oxygen efficiently to your body cells, maksudnya, you need to breathe more than normal people. Normal people that don't have anemia, they will breathe normally and you have to breathe more than these people because you already don't transport no, the oxygen as much as them. So since you don't transport as much as them, you need to breathe no, no, double or triple more than them. So by theory, yes, diagnosed with anemia definitely will increase the rate of respiration. But uh, let us uh, go for the answer which is uh, four. Rama who have arrived at the peak of the Mount Everest, yes, definitely. Okay, it will, uh, because he just climbed, baru, baru sampai, so he will definitely be tired. So, answer, best answer for this question, if you see this kind of question in the exam, I believe, 1 and 4, go for 1 and 4, so answer is D. Okay, so but, the, the, if your answer is B, you don't have number 1, which is very bad, because number 1 confirm, there is no doubt about it, that it will make it hard to breathe. Okay, so we'll go for 1 and 4, okay. Maybe there is other reason behind the anemia uh, situation. But uh, by theory, I'm telling you, the anemia definitely will cause this uh, increase of the respiratory rate. Okay, now let's go to number five. Table five shows the reading taken during the measuring activity, which is measuring what? What is this? Ah, measuring this, uh, the thickness of the electric, or measuring uh, a few things. Uh, number one will be the thickness of the wire. Okay, after that, they will be measuring what else? They will be measuring the... Um, arus electricity or electric current okay then they will be measuring the diameter of the ping pong ball and the mass of a stone so they are asking you which of the following measurements show highest accuracy ah accuracy maksudnya apa means that it must be very close 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 to actual that's the keyword close to actual because we know that we learn three things accuracy consistency and sensitivity okay since now they are asking accuracy, maksudnya they are looking for the one that has the reading that is very close to the original, to the actual one. So actual one is in this box, we have to see okay, whether or not these readings will be close to here. Okay? By right, what you have to do is you have to take the average, the average of these three. You are going to take 2.24 tambah 2.23 tambah 2.25 divided by 3 to get the average. But since they are very close to each other, we will answer this fast because it's an objective question. This is the technique. Want to be fast. So let's see. 2.24, 2.23, 2.25, 2.24. Very close to each other. Okay? Very close to each other. So yes, accurate. 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, there is no change at all, you realise or not, during the experiment time. Original 0 0.3, maksudnya apa? Maksudnya, there is something wrong with this measuring during the experiment. So, no, it's not accurate. Now, 4.17, 4.22, First things first, there is very big difference between these three. Do you realise or not? They jump very big. From 4.22 to 4.15, there is a difference. There is a difference between these two uh, of 0 0.07, 0 0.07, which is a lot. Okay, 0 0.07, which is a lot, and we don't want that to happen. And we don't want that to happen. So what happens is, automatic. We know that this is not going to be accurate, not accurate. And number four, 3.90, 3.90, 3.90, 4.0, very close to each other. Okay, very close to each other. Okay. Very, and it's in gram. So this deviation or the difference between these two, okay, acceptable, acceptable. Okay, so we'll go for one, four. Answer uh, D. Answer D. Okay, now, number six. Let's go to number six. Number six. Uh, okay, good. And myself, from one. The function of structure R. Structure R. Okay, first things first. Animal cell, that's number one you have to highlight in the question. Number two, you have to know that uh, when you see this shape, there are only two things that they may draw. Because some parts of the cell, we know that they are very confusing. 
Okay, but when you see this shape, there are only going to be two uh, probability of what this is going to be. Number one, it may be the mitochondria. Maybe, okay, because we cannot rely on uh, logic. Uh, because sometimes, uh, when uh, this uh, exam question, they draw the diagram, maybe is not the best. So we have to analyze the diagram. What is the second possibility? Chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay, but this diagram is quite clear. I can see it's quite clear. Okay, but if pictures they are unclear, these kind of uh, parts or part R can only be either mitochondria or the chloroplast. Okay, so we have to take note that this is the technique. Okay, so what happens is we need to know that this is animal cell and we will realize that chloroplast cannot exist in animal cell because this only exists in plant. For what? To contain chlorophyll for photosynthesis. Jadi, buang lah. Buang. Chloroplast. Mitochondria left. Now that we know it's mitochondria, which is R, we have to fun find the function. And we know that mitochondria in the animal cells for what? Is to produce electric, uh, energy for the uh, life processes of the cell. Such as what? Such as respiration. Okay? Such as respiration. Such as division. Cell division. So, B. Generate energy for reactions. Can we look at the other, other functions as well or not? Okay? Since we are here. Okay? We are doing exercise. This is not an exam. Let's go one by one. Mengawal semua aktiviti sel, controls all activity. We know that this nucleus, nucleus will be the one in the center here that will control all the activity, things that move in and out or whatever the cell needs to do, the breeding, the excretion. Okay, nucleus. C. Store dissolved substances for cell use. Okay, it will store in uh, sometimes very small black holes or it will store in the cytoplasm itself. Okay, so this is either very small black holes. Okay, which I believe is present. These are the ones. Okay, or in the cytoplasm itself. Also, sometimes it will store. Okay, and uh, D, controls the movement of material in and out of the cells. So because we know that there are only two types of walls, uh, or two types of uh, surfaces of the cell, either it's cell wall or cell membrane. So we will rule out or we will cancel out cell, mem cell wall because this is animal cell and animal cell only has cell membrane. So D is cell membrane. So answer, B confirmed. Good, seven. Which of the following statements is true about homeostasis? Homeostasis is talking about the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The uh, uh, control of the uh, uh, body temperature. Okay, control of the body temperature. And uh, because we will uh, be in different condition of the our environment, either you were in a hot environment or in a cold environment due to a few reasons. Uh, the season change, okay, uh, pertukaran musib, Kadang-kadang musim sejuk, kadang-kadang musim panas. Okay, not in Malaysia lah. Other places. Okay, they will have uh, four seasons. So what happens is, uh, as living things, we have to adapt. Okay, keyword adapt to these changes to the surrounding. So let's see one by one. B. Animals. Uh, let's see B first, ah, uh, because uh, uh, I saw this cold habitat. Okay, uh, very interesting. Animals living in cold habitat have thin fur. Okay. Oh, thin fur. That is wrong. Okay, that number one is wrong. But number two, uh, this is just an adaptation. It's not a kind of homeostasis, only an adaptation. Okay, it's only an adaptation. So it's not homeostasis. C, cats stick their tongue out to reduce the body temperature. Yes, it is a, a way for you to reduce the temperature. But this is not the uh, the way for you to, uh, what do you call that, to... Uh, um, not a way for your body itself to automatically, automatically solve this problem. Okay, it is the cat themselves that stick out their tongue. So no. Okay, D. Horses uh, wallow in water during hot weather. So we know that. Uh, okay, wallowing. Maksudnya there is a puddle of water there, and then the horse. Okay, horse. Okay, just imagine it's a horse lah. Huh? Uh, go and turn around in the water. Okay, to cool down, to cool down the body. So if you realize C and D is the same logic, it is not something that your body automatically does because we know that homeostasis must be something that your body automatically does for you. Okay, and uh, this is not something that your body automatically will do. You have to go into the water and turn around yourself. You have to stick out your tongue to reduce the temperature. So these two will not be. So we go back to A, some animals hibernate during winter. Yes, your body will make you hibernate. Okay, you will have very long sleep during the winter for you to preserve uh, uh, your body temperature, to preserve also the food, okay, the food that you need to obtain, okay, the nutrients, okay. So that's homeostasis, okay. Basically a way for you to what? To adapt uh, to your surroundings by uh, controlling or maintaining, maintaining normal levels, okay. That's the keyword, maintaining 
normal levels normal normal levels okay good we are done seven questions now eight okay chemistry diagonal five illustrates the heating curve of solid p solid p let us start with solid p perpejal p maksudnya apa maksudnya in the beginning here in the beginning here which is t1 this is beginning huh? let's let's uh, write there begin okay and t3 will be the end so the logic of this curve is that they are adding heat they are adding heat or they are heating up okay because why temperature rising temperature rising temperature suhu uh, uh, meningkat okay uh, uh, so they are going to be adding heat so what happens is we must know that when you begin at t1 or j you are definitely going to be in a state of solid you are always going to be in the state of solid okay because you start you, you start you start with solid ma so of course when you're at t1 is solid ah okay and since there are no changes you are going to keep on being solid from j to k okay after that we know that let's let's ignore the flat lines first ah let's go the one with the the increasing lines first ah which is lm lm now lm we know that after solid what is after solid liquid lah after liquid after solid is liquid because macam ice they will melt into uh, what do you call that uh, water solid to liquid okay so we can fill in s and l now if we were to increase the temperature more which is i'm going to draw dotted line instead okay we are going to have here apa tu gas from solid you turn to liquid from liquid you turn to gas that is how things work in life Okay, so we have filled in S, L, G. Now we have to fill in the flat lines because we know that the flat lines is actually what we call a change, a change in the physical, in the, in the property of that, uh, of that the substance, of that substance. So when they are in the middle of solid and liquid, they will need to change, right? Some parts will have to change from solid to liquid slowly, slowly the whole, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? The whole cup of uh, ice will melt into water. Can you don't have suddenly one second or pada saat ini, the whole cup is ice. Then after that, the next second, the whole cup water cannot be right. Slowly, slowly, we will have a little bit of water melt, uh, no, uh, a little bit of ice melt, a little bit of water, a little bit of ice, a little bit of water, a little bit of ice, a little bit of water, a little bit of ice, a little bit of water, until, until we will have a whole cup of water. So what happens is in between K and L, we call that solid plus liquid. Same thing when you are steaming your pao, your chasa pao, or your steaming or your whatever lah, okay, whatever you're eating, your bread in the uh, steamer. Let's say you forget to turn off the water. Takan right? It is uh, turn off the fire. Takan is one second the whole uh, pot of water, and next second suddenly no water at all. Can it will slowly slowly evaporate? Okay. It will uh, keep reducing the water because it will evaporate, 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 evaporate until it slowly, slowly all turn into water vapor, which is gas. So what happens is, in this time between L and G or, or M and N, it will become liquid plus gas. Ah, liquid plus gas. Sebahagian will be liquid. Sebahagian will be gas. That's the idea. So look, let's look at the question. What is the stage of matter? state of matter that exists at the stage k and l k to l okay k to l so they're talking about this t2 stage like basically okay if you draw a dotted line you can see they're asking about oh, oh, oh. so if you're drawing a dotted line you can see they're talking about this t2 stage here so s plus l we know the answer s plus l solid plus liquid solid and liquid which is d okay good now nine why are patients with ab blood group is said to have high chances to be saved if they need blood transfusions. Why? Huh? Why? It's because the answer is, uh, we know that when they are person of AB type, okay, they need uh, to obtain blood from people who are compatible or sesuai dengan jenis darah mereka. Okay, or kumpulan darah. Okay, kumpulan darah AB. Mesti sesuai dengan kumpulan darah AB. And we know that from AB, A definitely sesuai. So about inside AB, we have A. So, sesuai. How about B? B, we know that also have. Sesuai. How about, uh, what else? AB. AB, of course, sesuai because they have both AB. How about O? 
Oh, we know they can donate to everyone. So definitely, oh, boleh. So what happens is, we know that AB actually can receive blood from all four types of blood group. Because we only got AB, A, B and O. So since they can receive from all, maksudnya there is a high chance for them to live. High chances for them to live. See, high chances for them to be safe if they need blood transfusions. Jika mereka memerlukan pemindahan darah daripada pes, uh, uh, you know, uh, orang lain, then pesakit ni dia akan diselamatkan sebab dia boleh menerima darah daripada kesemua kumpulan darah. Okay, so we call this also AB. By the way, we call it universal universal receiver because they are able to receive blood from all blood groups. So we call it universal. Universal means semua lah. Okay, semua. So answer A. A B blood groups has many antibodies. No, the probability of agglutination is high. Cannot be. Agglutination, by the way, is when your blood cell, blood cell, they are going to agglutinate to each other because they are not compatible. Tidak sesuai. Semasa ada, uh, you know, the blood red blood cell, they tidak sepadan dengan antara, uh, antara satu sama lain, they will uh, uh, agglutinate, okay, agglutinate each other. So, we don't want agglutination. We want it to be low. We want it to be low. So, C is the answer. The probability of agglutination is low. So, yes, definitely. Go for C. Okay. AB group, uh, blood group may receive blood from most other blood groups. Okay, now the problem with this D is, it says most other. Salah. Kenapa? Because AB dia boleh menerima darah dari kesemua kumpulan darah, bukan bukan kebanyakan, semua kumpulan darah. So we must know that D this one is the when they catch rabbit, when they catch rabbit. So we we'll wrong. So answer C. Okay, now let's go to number ten. Number ten is a blast furnace. Okay, is when they extract extract metals. So we know that they will be burning things inside. So we know that we can already remove some answers from this question. Hydrogen is explosive. They will not use hydrogen to burn or to combust or to extract matter. So B, C, B, D, buang. A and C. We know that aluminium oxide, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, what do you call that, extract like this. They will let the aluminium flow from a different uh, uh, burning uh, burning furnace okay they will let the aluminium oxide flow out so this is not going to be this definitely means that answer is zinc because this is going to be zinc extraction okay so yes you will recognize the diagram anyway number 11 which of the compound substance is not a compound spartan compound means what compound means that it's a combination a chemical combination chemical huh? that's the idea huh? chemical combination chemical combination of two or more substances Okay, A, rice. Now, rice is a combination of many simple uh, sugars and also other things like fiber, carbohydrates, proteins. They will combine to each other to make rice. So, S, A is a compound. B, pencilate. We know that pencilate is made out of what? Carbon. Only carbon. So, as of now, we know that B is the answer. Pencilate. How about C? Brown sugar, same thing. Brown sugar is actually made out of many different simple sugars. Uh, th those kind of things like uh, glucose, maltose, that kind of thing, they will combine to make sugar. So we know that C is definitely a compound. How about D? D is uh, eggshell. Eggshell actually, if you want to know further, the name for the eggshell, the chemical name or the chemical compound that is inside this eggshell is what we call, uh, is what we call calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. So definitely we know that it is a combination of calcium and carbon. So it is not going to be yeah it is going to not going to be answer so answer is b okay number 12 table 2 shows the description of burning substances and extinguisher use okay so let's see which one is going to be fit okay so a book now book definitely cannot be bubble we will use what uh serbuk kering serbuk kering okay or this uh, dry powder abc powder okay now b zinc carbon dioxide cannot be okay cannot be we will try to use something like a uh, bubble okay to make uh, zinc stop. Okay. Now, what else? C. Minyak. Minyak masak and water. Cannot be because when you put water into minyak masak, of course, it will make it worse. It will make it worse. Okay. So, D are only left with propane. When propane burns, okay, is a gas by the way. So, it will burn very fiercely. So, we need serbuk kering powder or serbuk kering the powder, okay, to uh, blow it. Serbuk kering is the one that we usually see at home, the ABC powder in the red color 
or sometimes you have, you may have uh, blue color, I believe, blue color extinguisher, you will use that one to burn out or to blow out the propane, so answer D. 13. Uh, Geohazards phenomenon means uh, it is uh, 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 benjana lah, hazard lah, because something it will damage, uh, it will cause damage. Okay, what is causes the geohazard phenomenon? So we know that this is, uh, we identify first lah, we know that this is tsunami. How do we know it's tsunami? Number one is in the ocean, number two is the big waves, so we know it's tsunami. So what happens is, let us uh, see what causes tsunami. We must know that tsunami actually is, the other word for tsunami is actually what? We call it earthquake in water. Earthquake, when it happens on the land, it will make the land shake, okay? it will make the land crack. That's why when you watch disaster movie, you can see that uh, all the uh, rivers crack, all the land crack, the bridges break down, all that kind of thing. So earthquake. Uh, but in water, we call it tsunami, earthquake in water. So A, the magma and gas activity. We know magma is talking about underneath the volcano. So definitely not, because this will be a volcano eruption. B, tectonic plate movement. Yes, tectonic plate, because we will have different tectonic plates underneath the Earth's surface. And this tectonic plate, when they move and they will rub with each other, they will uh, create some sort of uh, um, uh, from uh, impact, okay, and that force is what creates an earthquake. So when the earthquake happens in in uh, under underwater uh, underwater, eh, underwater, this is the, this is the ocean. Uh, there is going to be earthquake something here or tectonic plate movement here, or shift tectonic plate shift. Okay, what happens is they will create an a, an impact, okay, an impact or force, the red color one like this. Okay, and after that it will transfer the force to the water. So the water will start okay, to bring the force. They will bring the force. That's why it start to make a tsunami. So we know the answer B. Weathering and raining process is hujan. Nothing to do with tsunami. Increment of average atmospheric temperature. Talking about global warming. Nothing to do with uh, these uh, waves. So yes. Okay, now question 14. Uh, diagram 8 shows a method carried out in the diabetes for neutralization process because we are going to uh, mix acid and alkali. This is alkali. This is acid. This is acid. This is alkali. So when you mix acid and alkali together, you will make a salt. Okay? And salt is neutral, pH 7. So we know that this is, uh, this is the method for you to uh, 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 mix acid and alkali together. So we know that the question is asking for method, not asking for process. These two things is very different. Number one, they can ask for process. Number two, they can ask for method. When they are asking for method, they must ask you cara or kaeda that you use. It's not the process. It's not the process. It's the cara. Okay. So we know that the met when we're talking about the process, what happens? Okay. The process. Oh, see. It tells you even in the question, the neutralization process. So what happens is we will rule out neutralization already because it's a process, it's not a method. Bukan kaedah. It is a process. How about C? Oxidation is also a process. Some more is nothing to do with uh, making salt. Combination. Combination usually will be uh, talking about things that is not chemically combined. Okay, so what happens is definitely D will be wrong. Anyway, D is a process also, it's not a method. So we only have A left as the method, titration. So answer A. Now, let's go to uh, 15. Uh, okay, antibody. So, suntikan pertama. Now, this is the first time where they inject the antibody into your body. So, your body will use up the antibody. Okay, and then after that, your immune will drop, will drop again. Okay, without even reaching the level of immunity. Okay. Without level, uh, even reaching to the level of immunity. This level right here will tell you that you are immune. Immune, that means you are safe. Immune, or means that you are safe from the disease. So if you have not reached or have not arrived at this level of immunity, it means that your body is still not protected against this disease. Somehow, it has a drop here. Okay, and here is the suntekan kedua. Or second injection of your antibody. Then it starts to grow again. Uh, then, once it lepas this level, go through here, then this, all these times here is when your body will be protected. So, from day, let's say 30, I believe 38 like that, from day 38, 38, okay, day, from day 38 onwards, you are safe. Day 38 onwards, you are safe. Day 38 and before, you are not safe because your antibody has not reached up to the level of making your body immune yet. So only after being immune, then you are safe. So let's see. 
If exposed to disease on 30th day, he will? 30th day. Just now we said what? 38, right? Here is 38, kan? I say that from going to here, 38 is safe. Going behind 38, not safe. So, when he is here, 30, maksudnya, kena lah. Kena. So, contract the disease, A. Okay, let's see. Next. Uh, diagram 10 shows two identical bulbs, X and Y, connected to a dry cell supplying the same voltage value. Okay, so one is a series, one is a parallel. Which statement is true about X and Y? The brightness of bulb X is the same as bulb Y. Cannot be. Okay, because we know that X, okay, by the way, this is what we call in series, and this is what we call in parallel. We know that uh, they will definitely not going to be light up in the same brightness. Okay, so A is not going to be the answer. A is wrong. Okay, B. Uh, the flame duration, that means how, much, how long it light up of the bulb is X, of X is longer than Y. Of X is longer than Y. Can it be the correct answer? No, it cannot be the correct answer. Okay, because X will die out faster than Y because it's in a series. Okay, it's in a series. C, bulb Y is brighter than X. Yes, definitely, because Y is in parallel. Parallel always brighter than series. So, answer already C. And since C is correct, D cannot be correct because D is the opposite of C. Okay, so we know that C is also uh, D is salah. Okay, 17. Which of the following form of the supernova? Supernova, some kind of explosion. So we know that uh, this one is, you have to understand that after the supernova, what happens is it will create a white dwarf. White dwarf. And after that, it will create a neutron star. Okay, not a small star, definitely not a black hole. So, answer, 1 and 3, B. Okay, now, uh, 18. All planets rotate from west to east, except west to east. West to east. Okay, so we know that uh, Earth, yes, Mars, yes, uh, Venus, uh, uh, Mercury, 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 yes, of course. Okay, Venus is the one that goes from east to west. Okay, Venus, wrong, is the uh, from uh, east to west. So, except Venus. Now, 19. Which object is X? Batuan besar berada mengelilingi matahari mempunyai orbit yang tersendiri. Oh, so they're talking about this flying object in the uh, uh, outer space. So they're asking you which one is it. So we know that comets, not the answer, had its own belt. Huh? Do you see that? It's a big rock, okay, moves around the sun and it has its own orbit. That means it has its own belt, okay. Uh, more or less, we can call it, it has its own belt. So, we can already know that the answer is going to be B, asteroid, asteroid belt. That's the only way it is, asteroid belt. Okay, good. So, now let's go to the last question objective and the last question of this video. Which of the following need sextant? Now, sextant is an instrument for you to measure. Okay, to measure. So, measure what? Classify the not. Measure the length of stars from the sun, definitely not. Okay, measure comparison, make comparison of the size, definitely not. Altitude of the stars, yes, ketinggian. So, we'll go for answer A. Okay, so there will be 20 questions, P3. Okay, we see that if you know the technique, if you know the logic of answering these questions, it's not going to be too hard. Okay, not going to be too hard. More often than not, 20, you will get 20. Okay, if not, also you will be very confident walking into your section B, which is your structure question, essay question. Okay, so in this uh, video, we'll end here. Okay, and we will look at your writing parts uh, in another video. Okay, hope you all uh, have learned quite a bit from this or the technique of us answering these objective questions. Okay, please uh, revise more during this time since you are free at home. You know, you don't have the help of the teachers but since we have videos like this one or you have e-books no? or even you have bought reference book at home, it's a good time for you to revise. Okay, it's the bonus time that uh, is very special to this year 2020 so that's pretty good to use okay so until the next video remember stay safe stay healthy and uh, keep on learning okay bye